All right, I want to talk a little bit more about diffusion on the rear wall and control rooms because if you're going to treat any surface, and look, diffusion is expensive, I get it. Uh, I build the stuff, there's a lot of parts, um, there's a lot of uh, labor that goes into it. The materials are not too bad, but the labor is, is expensive. There's a lot of pieces, but that rear wall can contribute so much to your, uh, so many issues to your mix yes. that you gotta treat it. Now, what are our options? We have two, absorption, diffusion. That's the only two technologies I'm kind of sad to say that we have. We don't really right. have any others. The laws of physics uh, only give us those two choices. So right. Sam uh, had some base trapping and stuff that he did uh, on his own. And then we uh, did our uh, quadratic diffusion uh, sequence. That's the prime 17 sequence. And uh, we have bases on it, and you can go to our website and see this, where we also added the carbon to the base. But uh, you can see uh, that his whole rear wall now is, is diffusion. And let's uh, talk about a little before and after. What, yeah. were, what were you hearing before, and what do you hear after? Well, like I said before, uh, if you walk around, like say behind this rack, you would walk uh, east, west, like this. The sound changes as you go, right? And then if you go further back, like you, you hear a lot more bass. Ah, I mean a lot more bass. Now you can sit, you could be right next to the diffuser in the back, and the sound is is, is more even. And uh, beside the, that, it sounds great. It looks great. And then the 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 uh, craftsman is so solid. It's so you know you can put them there for 20 years, and then they're gonna, they're gonna they're nothing can happen. It's not some kind that you put them in after a while they start chipping or whatever. Yeah. So uh, they look beautiful and they sound great. And uh, like you were saying, probably the, one of the, the three biggest problems is the side, the side walls from the mixing board and the back wall because that's gonna the bass gonna keep coming back at you and then back at the cancellations, what have you. So uh, I am very happy. Um, yeah. It, it, now. If I'm mixing here, and another thing I forgot to say is before, you know, every studio it's called the uh, the uh, sweet spot. The sweet spot was like here, you know, right in between the speakers. Now the sweet spot is almost around the, the, this mixing Just the whole area here. Yeah. yeah. And now when you're listening here, you're sitting working here, you're listening here. If you go further, it doesn't sit. It, the, the change is minimal. So you still, even when you're there, you still can make decisions about the mix. So now when I'm mixing with people here, I can, when we're listening pretty much almost to the same thing. Instead of before, we're almost like in two different mixing rooms. How about the mids and highs? The mids, and what do you notice different there? Uh, the mids and highs, uh, like when I was analyzing this room, I know I had two main problems. Uh, was I think between the 35 to 55 kind of that's where the presence of the voice of the instrument or the voice is and I had a dip and I had another dip in the uh, 11k up 10 to like 13 and up let's say and so when you have this kind of problems you compensate so I would to make it sound in here I would have it, you know, sounding nice and present in here, and it has some air on top, on the on the material, on the, on the music. But then, when you go outside, it's harsh because you overdid it. Because what you could not hear, you compensate for. Now you have a little bit too much of. And when you put too much from ten and up, you're not having air anymore. You have sibilance, and you have that kind of. Uh, it takes away from the body of the music or the instrument, you know. So now, uh, I think it, it pretty much it sounds pretty good, even like from listening to like CDs by other people, like we just listened to Stain, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you can tell it sounds very good because I'm sure it sounds very good. So if I bring it in my room, it stinks CD, and it sound, doesn't sound that good, I know it's not Sting's mistake. It's this room has a problem, not the, the production right. obviously right uh, so uh, like I said now like 
for example. I opened up some mixes I did before. The first thing I do now is I just take plugins off. I just start taking stuff off. Nice. Because I don't need it. Nice. You know, five, six plugins, you don't need this. You just take them off because I was making decisions on false assumptions. That, you know, I was, uh, and on the other thing, you, you, when you are not listening proper, you are going around looking for stuff that might be already there. You just don't hear it. So you keep trying to get there and you're already there. It's like, you know, where is, uh, you're at the church. Where the church? You're in the church. You don't know it, you know? Yes. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that's what I, yeah, that's what I did. And don't be afraid of diffusion. Those of you out there in the music business, it's not that complicated. Uh, it's all about distance and uh, dimension. Uh, so distances are critical because we have to have enough distance for the energy. A diffuser is like a speaker. We don't plug it in, but we do put energy in it from our monitors. So when the energy goes in, it comes back out. So we have to have enough distance for the waveforms right. to f completely form. And there's little ways that we can adjust for that also. So don't worry about your studio and trying to figure out what works best for yours. I think when we first started, we were doing the 13s. Right. And then we said, well, wait wait a minute. We, I think we got enough room for 17s because we get more frequencies. It, uh, diffusers are just like a, a speaker. They have a frequency response. Mm -hmm. So we have to put the right speaker in the right control room. And, and you know, uh, uh, the other thing, we start with the 13, and then we made the deal on the 13, if you remember. And then you told me it's too bad because the 17 will give you 25% more frequency results. Yeah, yeah. So, actually, I not the wall. We, we took the whole wall to make room for the 17. So, if you're in the sound business, you gotta do what it takes to get to the sound. We're not in the, let's see what we have so we can fit stuff in. Uh, the sound has to be the main driver. Not because I have this space, I have to fit whatever, you know. If you're gonna get 25% better result, it makes sense to not go wall down, right? I would think. Yes. Than to compromise. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they sound really good. They're really nice and smooth. Well, great. This has been wonderful. I'm. I'm glad you're happy. Thank you. Thank I'm you glad we, we got you. you fixed up. Yes, and you did. You, you have a new room to work in. Yes, and the pleasure of work. How yeah. nice after yes. 25 years. Yes. A new room and you didn't have to move. Right. So we're going to have, for those of you out there in the Chicago area, we're going to have some demo units available in the next two or three months. And uh, we're more than happy to bring them to your studio and, and let you try them out for a while. And. Uh, be exposed to our technology of both our carbon and our phone. So what a pleasure, Sam. Thank you. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. We appreciate it. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed our videos today. And if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section or you can go to our website, acousticfields.com and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're now doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. If you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured. And I guarantee you, your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.